Okay, so I have prepared some pictures in advance. And um, so like the first one here, you can see, uh, actually it's a very easy design just with different shapes and different paints, but how to use Cool Home to create a background wall like this. Uh, we will try to take a look together. Okay, so uh, first let me, a screenshot. Okay, so I will have this picture on the same screen with us while we do the design. So you will have a reference. Okay, so I will put it here. And now we are in our two. Uh, here I have only draw one room with no walls or doors. So I will just use it for the four sides of the walls to. Uh, try to create the background design. So that is the first picture, right? It's right here. Okay, all right. So how about we choose this side of the wall? So whenever you want to do some background wall design, you can go to the 3D view and you can click on the side of the wall that you want to make the design and go to wall editor. Okay, so for for each side of the wall, you can click and go to wall editor. Let's use this side of the wall. For the real scenario, I think you may have to do the calculation in advance. So uh, how big the size of each of the, 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 the shape, right? But now today, I think I will just choose some random size to show you how to use the tools. Okay, so first uh, we are here in the wall editor. And on the top bar, uh, you can find we have the line, the curve, the rectangle, or the polygon, and the circle. So these are the four things we can use to draw different shapes, okay? So I think the line here is very easy. You can draw any straight line in any direction, okay, like this. But the curve uh, is like this, okay? Normally, we use a curve together with the line, so you get a shape like this. And for any unnecessary lines, you can delete them. Okay, so you can delete any unnecessary lines you don't want. Okay, and for the rectangle, that is easy, but for the polygon, you can actually enter how many edges you want. So maybe five, we got a pentagon like this, right? Or you can uh, go even more uh, edges. And then we have the circle like this one as well. So now we will use these tools to create something like the one we have here, right? Okay, so for the first shape, we'll start from the left to the right. For the first one, I think this is a combination of rectangle and the curve, right? So I will first draw a rectangle, but not all the rectangle inside of the wall. Half is missing. So I can draw like this. Okay, right? Half is outside of the wall. And for the curve, like this as well and you can actually give a number for the arch how how big you want it to be so i think maybe just like this and this line we don't need it so i can delete it so now we have the first strip done you see and if you want this one to be bigger you can also drag it bigger right you can drag it bigger but I think the scale may change a little bit as well. So that's why I said uh, you have to actually calculate the, 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 the size of each shape in advance. Okay, all right, so that is the first shape. And for the second one, this one looks like a magnet, right? <laughs> uh, I think for this one, we will use the same like this one, the rectangle together with the curve, maybe like this. 
So for this one, I can actually try to make this line in the center, in the middle. So here I will give it 350 and the side 350 as well. Now you see this line is in the middle. It's right in the middle. Okay. All right. And then uh, let's get a curve on top. Maybe a little bit down. 280 like this. Okay. Uh, you can also hide the numbers if you don't need them. All right. And then I can delete this line and delete this line as well. So uh, in the here, there is another shape exactly the same like this one we have here. Let me first delete this line because later I may need it. So if you have one shape already and you need another shape, exactly the same shape, but with a different size, here is a offset function that is very useful. Okay, so we will use offset. Oh, sorry. I just need to delete this slot. Oh, why? Okay, maybe I will get this line to the end first, and then I can delete this line, right? Because just now they were still on the, uh, they're like a, a, a same shape, so you cannot delete it. Okay, so remember offset is a very useful function when you have an shape done and you're trying to get a scaled shape right okay so i will draw this line back i think we may need it okay here it is and the next two is is a rectangle uh, is a rectangle very big from the top to the bottom right so let me get it maybe this big and the same line here. Oh, sorry, I didn't get it to the top, but don't worry. And you see the green line, that is actually the guideline, which can help you to draw the straight line. as well like this uh, 400 maybe
Okay, I will move the picture here on this side. And let's see, we can go to mapping, paints and coatings. So here you can search different uh, types of painting by color. I'll buy the, uh, here you And one more little brownish. Okay, maybe I can't find exactly the same one.
clearly. Is it okay now? Right. All right, so if you can hear me, let's continue for the second one. Uh, okay, now, good. So for the second one, this one is actually, uh, these two pictures are actually the same way to create them, right? So we will focus on the first one, how to draw the shapes. Uh, the, the, the first one is just like a rectangle. The inside part, this is the difficult shape we're trying to create and how to add these lines like these ones, right? How to add the frame or the golden line in the middle. Uh, that is what we are going to do for the first one. And once we know how to create the first one, the second one, we just need to get them into two different colors. Okay, so now let's continue for this one, the blue one first. Okay, I will also uh, take a screenshot. All right, okay. So here it is. Now let me see, how about we use this side of the wall? And let's also go to wall editor. Okay, so we will create the first one. It's just mainly a rectangle, right? And you can adjust the size, how, how much space you want it to be to uh, decide like this. And uh, this one here. Oh, sorry. Uh, 1,000. Okay. And maybe, all right, like this. So this is the first shape first rectangle, right? The first rectangle done. And the difficult part, like I said, is the one in the middle. So how to create a shape like this one? You can use the lines, maybe like this, uh, like this. Okay, it's too small to see. Right, you can draw like this, but uh, it will take you a long time. And also it may, um, you have to calculate the size of each of the line very carefully. So that may take you a long, long time to do that. And the easy, easier way is to draw another rectangle and cut out the four angles, right? So let's see, I can draw another rectangle and I can also use the offset to get exactly the same one, right? The, the, the scaled one, okay. And you can cut out the angles by using the line, right, like this. Or you can use the rectangle if, if it's easier. Just delete the line that we don't need, like this, okay? But you also need to remember how much you need to cut for each of the angle. You have to do this four times. Um, is there another easy way? Yes. So click the rectangle in the middle. And here we have a chamfer option. So this chamfer helps you to cut out the angles in four different ways, okay? In four different ways. And let's take a look together. The first one is like cutting the angles like this. And the second one is like this. The third one, I think, is the one we need today. Like this, very small. Right? And the fourth one is cut out the triangle. So if you can find the shape you want from this chamfer, that will be much easier for you to do it. Even if you cannot find it, you can always use the line, the curve, the rectangle, or the circle to help you to create the shape you want. Yes, okay, so now we have the shape done, right? <laughs> okay, so next, how to add this frame? Actually, we can use the moldings we have in the public library. So you can go to moldings, so moldings are not only for the ceiling, but you can also use them on the, on the wall. Just find the one, uh, the style you want. 
and you can drag and drop it. Uh, let me see, maybe this one, okay? So I can drag and drop it. Now I have the molding. If you go here, you will see, right, like this. But this is the white one, we need the blue one, right? And also I think the moldings are too big. It's very wide. So I can click on the molding. Here you can change it, material replace. So you can replace it with a different color. Do we have a blue one? Uh, maybe this one, <laughs> but it doesn't look very similar. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look very similar. Or do we have any, or maybe this one looks better. No. Let me see if we have any uh, green or blue one. Yeah, maybe this one. It's lighter, but I think it's better than these ones. Okay, so we'll use this one. And how to get the moldings a little bit smaller because now I can see it's very bad. It's very wide, right? So you just need to click on the line, click on the line and here section edit is where you can edit it, the size. So let's make it uh, 40 and 35. So you can see this side is much smaller. It's much, much thinner than the other three sides, right? And you just need to make a duplicate to the other three edges. You don't have to do the settings three times more. And now we get, you see, the thin frame for it. And for these ones in the middle, that will be exactly the same. So uh, we'll go to moldings and for this one, do we have any gold ones? It doesn't look like it's gold pie. Um, maybe we want something like this, but with a gold color. Let me see if I have this one in my... Yes, this one here. Uh, it's called Kathy Wine, a stainless steel baseboard. So you can use this one that shows the gold color. You see? Like this. You just need to change the size into a smaller one. That's it. Okay, so whenever you find something you, you like and you always need it, maybe just add it to fill it. So next time you can find it in my account. Right? So you don't have to search, uh, especially when you forget the name of it. So once you find it, just add it to fill it. Okay, so let me change the size to a very thin one because in the picture, it just looked like one line. How about we make it 15, 15? Okay, and duplicate to the other size. Okay, so here is very small. So just zoom in and try to get each side. One more here. Okay, so now we get it, right? We get it. And uh, for the others, for the other two, we can keep drawing like this, but you can also make a duplicate. So uh, press shift press shift on your keyboard and select the whole shape, you can make a duplicate, you see? And place it where you want it to be and make another duplicate, right? That is one way. All you can use, all you can use uh, also select it and you can use array function, okay? So here you can, put the spacing for X axis or Y axis, all the quantity. So for X, I want three, for Y, I want one. 
you see, like this. You can also get it. And the three of them are with the same spacing. Okay, so this is how you get them. Very nice, right? And next one here, there is another line. We just need to draw another line and another three uh, rectangle, that's it. Okay, so let me draw a line here. Right, this one. And for this one, I think, let me see if I can make another duplicate. Yeah, like this, right? But now you can see this um, molding is actually on top of the line. Uh, we just now, we, we, we adjust the size of it. Can we adjust the position of it? Make it on, on the bottom under the line or make it in the middle of the line? We can also do that, right? So for these ones are the same. You can put it inside or outside. So just click on the line, section edit. Okay, so you can move it, you see, in the middle or on the other side. So let's move it, move it in the middle. You see, now uh, the molding is covering the line. It's on, the line is in the middle of the molding, okay? So you can adjust the, not only the size, but also the position. All right, so let's continue to draw the other three underneath. So this one must be very quick. And you see automatically it show me the guideline to align with the shape we already have on top, right? And I can also, uh, no, sorry. I can also make a duplicate. So I don't need to do it one more time. We don't need to do the settings, right? Okay. And then select use array quantity one, uh, no, three and one. Okay, like this. Okay. And then we just need to paint the blank space into the same color. Let's go find paints. I will also choose a green one because I didn't find the blue one, right? Okay, maybe not this one, a little bit like this. How about this? Okay, not bad, right? And I can use the material brush. You can drag and drop too, or you can use a material brush that will be the same, all right? Okay, so this is how we done for this one. And let's go back to the 3D view and take a look. So for the second case, actually the picture drawing is very easy. The, the shape drawing is very easy, just rectangles, right? Uh, what, what you need to pay attention to is this inner shape cut out the angles by using chamfer. And another thing is when you use the molding, you can adjust the size and the position of it, right? But I think it doesn't show. Let me refresh it. Okay, sorry guys, I think my internet is not very good today so if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate just type in the chat box oh it doesn't show at all uh okay let's try one more time Okay, where are the, <laughs> where are my designs? Uh, anyway, anyway, this is how we do it. Uh, let me see if I can find it in the wall editor. Oh, it's not here. On the other side, maybe here.
Right, so the design is still here. It just didn't show in the 3D view. Okay, all right. Anyway, so uh, this is how we sell the first picture, right? And for the second, here, uh, the same way to add the molding, same way to draw the shape, but how to paint them with two different colors. So on top is dark pink, and on the bottom is uh, light pink, right? So how can you apply different textures or different colors in this case? You need to divide them into two halves. So whenever you have a shape, you can get a different texture. If it's one shape, you cannot get two colors, right? So we have to draw one more line here in the middle to divide them into half, and then you can change them in, with different colors. Okay, so here, let's see. Just need to draw one line here in the middle, okay? And then we can change uh, into maybe darker green, okay? So let's see, mapping. Okay, so we will first edit the molding. For the moldings, I will choose no, a different color, not green, uh, but darker green, no, maybe blue. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, but the the line only divided the the bigger part. The moldings you see they change all together, right? But don't worry. Uh, how can we fix it? You just here, right? Click on this line and copy it back. Oh no, sorry. Then you just click on the line and make a copy. Copy it back. How oh, come it doesn't work? Okay. Right, like this. Okay, and then you can copy this one here. So, uh, okay, this one, this one, and here, right? And you see some of them are outside, some of the molding are outside, some of the moldings are inside. You can just uh, edit it, move it back, move it inside, that's it. So when you make the um, duplicate, sometimes it may get you this problem. You just need to move it back. And this one, right? This one to this side, all inside. Okay, oh, now we have it, right? And then I can just choose a, a blue painting for the top part. That's it. Maybe this one, right? Material brush. Okay, so now you get it easily, right? Half blue, half green. So just draw one line. The difficult part is the molding. When you change the color of the molding, it will apply to the whole shape. And later you can just make a duplicate to the other halves. That's it. Okay, oh, somehow this one changed. All right, so I will make another rendering for this one. And let's check how it looks like. And if you guys have any question, don't be, don't be shy, right? Oh, it doesn't show. I don't know which side. Why my laptop is so slow today?
okay, so I don't think I can show you the rendering. It doesn't show me anything in this 3D view, All right? So sorry, guys. Um, okay. So it doesn't show me any, you know, how can we uh, make a design like this? There are three different parts, one, two, three, right? The, the center part and on the left and on the right, they are actually the same, actually the same. And you can see the light strip here, right? Light strip. And also for this gold part, it's not on the same level. It looks like a concave, okay? All you can say the other part is actually out of the wall. How can we make the, them into different levels with different heights? So this is how we are something we're going to solve for this one. Okay, so let me see. All right, here is the, the one. Okay, and we will also use the big size of the wall. Let's go to the wall editor. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Okay, you can see it in the 2D, but not the 3D. Okay, there you, here it is. This is the blank wall, right? And we will use this side of the wall, try to create something like this. And first we will divide the, the, the wall into three parts. So one rectangle in the middle, and let's make it, how about 1,200 to each side. Okay, all right, so now we have three different parts, right? right. The one, uh, we will try to fix the one in the middle first, all right, the one in the middle first. And these two, we will leave it next. Okay, so the first one is to draw the three, lines right and for the gold part we can also add the molding or the lines uh, the one we used just now okay so they're not just like one line but actually a thin bar a thin a small rectangle okay so we will draw a rectangle very thin one okay and I will give it uh, 100, okay, like this. Okay, this one also 100. Okay. Right. And then another one 100. This line, let me see, 363. Right, three. And this one is three. Okay. Okay. Here. So this is too small to click on it. 363. All right, like this. And for this side, we can adjust the spacing at 100. And this one here, 100. Okay. So now we have the line done and I can hide the numbers. Okay, and here I don't need it. This line, I don't need it. Right, and also this one. Just delete the line that you don't need. Okay, so now we have the shape done like this, right? 
And then you can find the same molding we used just now, the gold one here, this one, and just fill it inside, okay? Because I have delete the line in the middle, so this is like one shape. So once I drag and drop it, it will apply to the whole area. Okay, so we have this one done. And I just need to choose a marble for the middle part, right? Something from here, stone. We have the marble with this similar color. Uh, let me see. Maybe not exactly the same. Maybe this one looks similar. Yeah, not bad. Oh, uh, do we have another one with the, oh, this one I think looks better. You see, this one looks better, right? And then material brush to the other space, right? Okay, I think the one with this, 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 the, the, the patterns looks very similar to the one we have here, right? Okay, so now we have done the middle part. And for the other two parts, how can we do that? Okay, so first I want to draw the three little bars in the middle. But you can also see the whole areas are actually a little bit out of the wall. Okay, so by solving the this problem by making them on different levels, you can set the extrusion, the extrusion, okay? So uh, let's give it a 100 extrusion. This part 100 as well, okay? So you see, this part is higher, this part is also higher, okay? And then I can also choose the same stone to pave it, right? And whenever you have an elevation, there will be, a, whenever you have an extrusion, there will be an elevation part. You see here, it's blank. And here is also blank, right? So how to edit this elevation part, you can just by clicking the line here, edit elevation and find in the same pattern we used just now this one yes okay and then you can duplicate to the other lines okay and let's check the 3d view if i have paved them all okay this side always the same texture this this time uh this part as well okay so now we have finished the basic and how to get these three bars with a concave right so i can just draw them by using the rectangle let me zoom it okay by using the rectangle uh you can draw okay One bar, okay, one bar, done, right? Uh, let's see. Two hundred twenty, two hundred. And uh, this bar, let's make it one hundred. Basing one hundred, okay. All right, so the first bar done. And I don't need the extrusion because it's not, uh, it's on the surface, right? Okay, and then you can drag and drop this one in the middle. And then don't forget, if you want to get another three, you can just make a duplicate or use the array function. Array, so let's have uh, three, one. Hello. Okay, so you get it, right? And then you can uh, 
brush the this part all right like this so we check one more time extrusion 100 extrusion 0 extrusion 100 so make sure the marble parts are with the extrusion but this part without the extrusion yes okay so let's take a look you see they are like a concave right but when like i said whenever there is an elevation there will be uh, whenever there is extrusion there will be an elevation part the, with the blank so don't forget to paint it right this this blank part you can uh make a duplicate because this side we already did it so duplicate here 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 and here now let's take a look one more time all painted right oh i don't know why they hide the the gold part all right now it's fine okay and for the other side for this part you can just make a duplicate you don't need to do the design one more time you can just make a duplicate i don't get it okay like this right and then you can check the elevation if the elevation or the uh, 100 0 100 100 this part 100 okay and for this like this okay or maybe i want to move these three a little bit to the center Move. Okay, I don't know why I cannot get it. Move a little bit to this way. Okay. All right, now it's fine. A little bit in the middle, right? Okay, and uh, check the elevation part. Only the last one we need to give it and paint the elevation. Only this part, right? Yeah, now it's all done. Okay, and don't forget the last strip is the last step. You see here, we have four last strips, right? And how to create the last strip. You can just click on the line and uh, you can just click on the line here. You see, you can add a last strip. And when you add the last strip, the line will turn to yellow. So that means there is a light strip and you can also make a duplicate to the other side. This one as well. Okay, all right. And this line, we don't need it. Oh, sorry. This line we don't need the last strip okay all right so now we have finished whenever you see a light strip there might be a gold line a gold line means the light strip all right so let's go back to see if we can see it on the 3d view this time Okay, it still didn't come out. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know why it doesn't show on the 3D view. Oh, right. 
Okay, so now it's done here, right? And you can take a look. Okay, do you have any more questions for this one? So you can leave me a message whenever you have a question. No? All right, if no, we will move on to the next one. Okay, here. So for this one is also something very popular at the moment. And we see people use it for the um, bedroom or for the living room with a TV background wall, right? So it's very popular. And sometimes with the one side with the marble, one side with these wooden bars. Okay, so how to create something like this? This is the last thing we will uh, show to you guys in today's session. Okay. All right, here it is. And we will use this side of the wall, of course, the wall editor. And by creating something like this, first we need to divide them into two parts, right? One with the marble, one with the wood. And this part is higher, so I can set an extrusion. All right, so let's uh, do this. Okay, two parts, and then you can adjust the size, maybe like this, 250 for the wood, one, uh, two, what, 2,500 for the wood, 1,500 for the marble, and set the extrusion here as 100, okay? And then let's find stone for it. Uh, what about this one? Okay, here it is, right? And whenever there's extrusion, you have to edit the elevation part here. Elevation, oh, not this one, this one. Okay, so now we have the surface paved and also the elevation part with the same texture. All right, so this part we just finished. For the wood part, Actually, you can find some wood panels here, Winscott in our public library. So some of the panels are looking similar. They look similar to the one we have in the picture. Like this one, okay, looks similar, right? But when you apply to it, you will find the size, when you change the size, the patterns actually changed. And this is the biggest it can get. It won't fit the whole space. So uh, even if like this one, so when you change the size, does the paving, the, the patterns actually change a little bit. The scale doesn't look exactly the same we want, right? So this one may be not good. And another one like this, This one looks much better than that one, but you see, it's too big, okay? And you have to adjust the size. So this is what I want to show you. So if you can find the, the similar one in the public library, that will take you a lot of time. That will save you a lot of time. You can apply it directly, just adjust the, the size, right? But sometimes the pattern or the scale may look strange. And if you are a, a perfectionist like me, <laughs> I prefer to draw this one by myself, right? So whenever you want the design, you can always draw by yourself. Now let me show you how to draw. Okay, so here we can actually see little thin bars next to each other with the spacing. How to find how to solve the spacing problem? We can set them with different extrusion. So the first one on the surface, extrusion zero. Second one, a little bit out. So extrusion, let's say 50. The third one, extrusion zero. The fourth one, extrusion 50. So this is how we can get it like 
like a funds, right? Like a wooden funds. Okay, so let's see. Oh, not this one. This one, I want it bigger. Okay, so let me go with the rectangle and we will draw. And make it very thin, uh, 50. And let me draw another one. Also 50. Okay, so now we have two very thin bars. Uh, the first one on the surface, which is extrusion zero. The second one a little bit out of the wall. So I will set the extrusion 50. Okay. 50, zero, okay. And then we can apply some texture for it, some wooden texture. Uh, maybe this one, okay, no use this one. And because the second one we have extrusion, so don't forget to pave the elevation part here. And then I can make a duplicate to the other three sides. Okay, now we're done, right? So the difficult, the difficult way to finish this design will be you keep drawing until to the end, right? But that is too much trouble. And uh, the easy way I want to show you is press shift, select these two, what can you use? You can use duplicate or array, like we said uh, when we were doing other other walls, right? But the array function will be much, much easier because duplicate, you have to make a lot of duplicates. So use array and you don't need to set any spacing or quantity this time. Just make them next to each other. Drag into to the end. Let me hide the numbers so you can see better, you see? And they are with the same texture, but why different color? One look uh, darker, one look lighter. That is because they are with different extrusion and they have the shadows, that's why. And from the 3D view, you can see here, it's just like this. If I go here, you can even see, you can see even better, right? They're not on the same level, okay? All right, so let me go back to see if we can see the 3D view. Okay, good. Uh, only this part is not show. <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, this is what I want to share with you guys today. And as we know, for the background wall design, there are actually many, many different kinds. But with Cool Home Tools, with the functions, the buttons, we, we just showed how to use them. I'm sure you can create any design as you want. So as a professional designer, try to bring out your creativity and your, uh, try to find more inspirations and you can have more practice, okay? And if there is anything you don't know or if there is any design you don't know how to finish it, don't be hesitate to contact our CSC or well, in, in, in the WhatsApp group or whatever you have to ask to our cool home staff and we will get the feedback for you guys, okay? All right, so uh, this is enough from my sharing. Let's see if you guys have any questions. I will stay here for a little bit longer. If you have any questions, you can ask me. And uh, is Cheryl still here? Do you do you need to send the feedback link? Uh, yes, uh, just hold for a while. Okay, Okay, guys, so if you have questions, you can leave me a message. And if you don't have questions, just wait one second. Cheryl is going to send us a feedback link. And you can click on the link and uh, leave your feedback or the topics you'd like to hear. Ah, okay. Uh, I, yes, yes, we can share the recording later. Okay, we can share the recording later. You can have a have a look. You can review the recording to see how we do the different designs.
Yes, we use array. So I draw two bars, two wooden bars, and then I use array to drag it to the end. Okay, here is the feedback link. You guys can click on the link, and once you finish, you are free to go.